Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. Today I'm in my room, so I didn't go in my little sanctuary today. So I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm definitely doing blessed and hoping the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my video or coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you for being there. You know, you're pushing out love and light. You know, even though it can be hard at times, you try to be as positive as you can. Um, even though it can be challenging at times, I'm just glad you're able to do that. And many blessings towards everyone that comes across this video. And with that being said, namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while, I have not already. What are you waiting for? Like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you are feel, you feel comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you just have to tell me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacts your life and hitting you towards a positive direction. Or if you feel like the videos just gave you good vibes, or you want, um, or just good information you would love to share with a loved one or friend, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, go ahead and like and share on your social media favorites as well. And once again, thank you so much for stopping by the channel, and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. This beautiful, peaceful meditation I'm listening to today is called Remove All Negative Blockages. Um, erase subconscious negative patterns, release unwanted thoughts. And y'all, I really needed that. You know, even though I haven't really been thinking about anything negative, you know, that vibe can come in, especially when you, you know, you can come out and, um, it's like just walking into different places, especially being an empath. We we collect energy all the time. And, you know, I just like to put, you know, because I know a lot of y'all, some of y'all are new coming into my channel. So it's like when I do my videos, I always try to put meditation music in the background. So it's like you're, you're pushing out positive intent. And I want the vibes to, from the video, you know, to come through that. Because I know a lot of people say they really, truly enjoy the meditation music I put down. You know, I'll always leave the link so you know in case you actually like the you know the you know the meditation or if you're trying to hear it for yourself you know you can go ahead and use it as well but today my video is about twin flame 101 Hilk is living as a hypersensitive. There's, um, I don't know if there's a lot of us, you know, that are Hayokas, but, you know, I know there's a lot of, um, there's some people who are just empaths or, you know, they're walking around as hypersensitive empaths because, you know, you're being multi-gifted. So you can, it, it tends to clash with a lot of things that you're, you're gifted with. So it's like a blessing and a curse at times. You know, I know some people, like when they, uh, some people have dropped lines to me and they're like, Rosalind, I really don't like being a Hayoka. You know, a lot of people don't really accept their gift. They don't embrace it because it's just, it can be very chaotic at times, especially being a hypersensitive. It's like I dread being out in public you know it's hard for me to go to stores you know i used to like if you have like a a 24-hour super super store like if you go to walmart or target i always try to go late at night when i always had to go shopping i always did that just so i don't have to be around crowds like that because it, it got to the point where i get very nervous or anxious or get very irritated you know my kids were like mom why are you like that and I, I never knew why I'm like oh where did you go oh I can't do this you know and they were like you know what is wrong with my mom <laughs> you know all these things so it was like when I started doing a lot of research um you know I've only been doing YouTube for uh, about a year well, it's going on two years now. Um, on the 22nd, it'll be a year, two years that I've been doing this. And I really, truly enjoy it. But it has been frustrating at times, especially if you really don't truly understand the gift that has been bestowed to you. So it's like going through all these things. It's like it's been a blessing and a curse, you know, because the blessing is is when I know I have my video has impacted somebody in a positive way. There is times when y'all y'all sent me like comments and I will start crying because I know I was able to um, impact somebody in that positive way, you know, because there's so many people that I've actually talked to that had said they were thinking about committing suicide until they came across my videos. And I mean, that brought tears to my eyes because I know what that felt like. You know, there's so many times I've wanted to give up on life. There's so many times I've tried to commit suicide, but then it tells me that, you know, I hate it 
you know, at, at times I hated God for that, you know, and then when I had to know that, you know, there's a reason why he's not ready for you yet, there's a reason why you're not, you know, you're, you're not things that I should have, I've done to try to commit suicide, you know, the doctors and EMTs were like, there is no way you should have not had brain damage or you're a vegetable or, you know, you shouldn't even be here. You know, just for the things I've done. And I said, well, obviously, you know, there's a reason for those things. Because I've embraced death so many times. I welcome it. You know, I embrace my dark side. You know, and there's a lot of people like, well, that's weird. But it's just like, if you had a life like mine and been through the things you've been through, you wouldn't be shocked. You know, it's like a lot of people are like, when they know my life story, they know the things that I went through. You know, they were like, Roz, I'm surprised you didn't commit murder or you didn't try to kill yourself. I said, you know, commit murder. I felt like, you know, the people that did the things they did to me, that was like, death was too easy. That was like, no, <laughs> no, I can't do that. But then with me, it's like, it's not like I didn't try. You know, I even tell my kids that, you know, and it's like, I don't want them to know that, but it's just like, I try not to hide things from them because it's like, you know, yes, I'm your mom, but I'm also human as well. You know, when you go through things, you go through things and it's just like, it's really crazy because it's like, you know, you try to win through all these battles and it's just like, you keep getting knocked down, but it's just the, the blessing is, is that you get up to fight another day. You know, so it's like being a hypersensitive can drive you nuts because it's like, you know, I can sit here and like I said, you know, the way I live, it's like I live on the south side. So it's like we experience a lot of crime or, you know, fights and stuff like that. So I get a lot of negative energy. I soak it up. So there's a lot of times I have to be to myself because I can find myself getting frustrated out the blue or getting angry for something that I, I'm like, what am I getting angry for? <laughs> you know, and this is not my energy. And I had to keep telling myself, this is not my energy. So there's a lot of times that I put on, you know, negative thought pattern music, um, releasing blockages, you know, that positive flow, because I need that in my life. You know, being a hypersensitive can be annoying to the max. And it was just like knowing all these different things about myself. You know, I found it very interesting and extraordinary excuse me for experiencing all these things and it's just for me being a curious person I am I always research on the things that you know very you know intrigues me or people bring it up to me I'm like hmm, I never found this you know I've never heard of this before and then go look at it and it's just like you know there's a lot of things that you know I mean even if I can't relate to it I know I'm trying to make a video of people that you know might be able to relate to things like that so it's just like being that way it, it can be it's a blessing, but then it can be frustrating, especially if you don't know why you're, you're like this. You know, um, I've been like this since I was a child. There are certain places that I can see what happened in certain buildings. It's like when I used to live in Frankfurt, Germany, my adopted family was military. So we used to go to different places, you know, we were in Europe. So it's like, I can, you know, I always love to go to castles and like oh I want to go to Dracula's castle and all that stuff I always want to go to Romania as well because it's just like I'm always been intrigued with the paranormal or uh, anything dark you know it's just like not you know I'm not a Satanist or a devil worshiper or anything like that but I've always been you know in, you know curious about the things that are unknown the things that you know people should frown upon or shy from I'm that type, type of person go straight for it so it's just like, you know, there are certain places my adopted dad would try to take me and it was just like, no, bad things happen. I won't go there. You know, he was like, you should sure? know. And, you know, I would get terrified because I can look in places and see, you know, things that actually happen. And, you know, my adopted father wanted to really look at that as, you know, a mental illness. But my mom was very intrigued about it because I really think my mom was like an indigo um, because it was just like things she would learn from me. Like, how does my daughter know this? You know, there's certain things. It's like, even when I talked to my dad, before I knew he was my dad, I knew, um, you know, I used to always tell my mom, you know, is my dad my brother or my dad? And she was like, what are you talking about? You know, that's not your dad. You know, if somebody says something to you, and it was just like, I'm like, no. But, you know, I had these dreams, and I had these visions about certain things that I know I should know about because it was like kind of confusing but to her. But, you know, when I, when she told my dad, you know, my, my biological father, because they used to talk a lot, 
um, he understood like, oh my God, my daughter's very special. You know, my, my baby's special. So it's just like he was intrigued by certain things because it's like, you know, the first time I talked to my dad at age five, I got very emotional because I remember him and it was like, he was like, how can she remember me? She hasn't seen me since she was like two or three days old. So how would she remember that? But it was just the fact that his love and that energy that we had and that bond, that was something I would never forget. You know, even though I might not have understood it, there was something I can never forget. And, you know, I, I probably said in my last video, I was watching something. It was pertaining to twins. And I got really emotional because it's like certain things. There's like, you know, I remember my death, my last death. You know, that's... You know, I never thought I would be able to open up and know something like that. It's like, how do you know things like that? Because, I mean, I've seen people do interviews, you know, with little children that are indigos. And, you know, they were like, or, or children, you know, they did, you know, I've even seen videos about it. And I can relate to that. And people, you know, these children telling their parents, you know, this is how I died. Or, you know, I was this person. I lived as this person. They will actually do research on it. And it will be the people that they're talking about. Like, whoa, you know, my child's only like five or six years old. And they'll tell me about their past life. Because mine was so traumatic. You know, I remember being in a womb, you know, sharing that with a sibling. You know, us being that close and I didn't make it. You know, so that was like heartbreaking to actually remember stuff like that. You know, because it's like a lot of times when people see that, you know, me and my dad's pictures together side by side. Or even when they see us like in videos. Like when I do one-on-one -on -one, like video chats, it's like I could be next to a light or you know a candle or something and they'll flick or you know something will freeze up and you'll see like our faces morph you know um and it's it's kind of crazy so it's just like people are like gosh you, you, you know you look like your dad there's sometimes that energy comes off and you, you act just like your dad and i'm just like well you know i am a part of him you know that's my twin you know so of course that sometimes that happens and it kind of freaks people out at times so i mean i do understand it but i find it very intriguing when i go through stuff like that so it's just like going around as a hypersensitive it's just like you know i know there's probably people that tell me you know if you're a hyper sensitive you, you can't do crowds you know I get headaches really bad you know there's some people that don't want to embrace that I said do you have headaches a lot especially if you get around you know a big group of people because you're dealing with so many energies at one time and it can you know there's times I actually felt like I was gonna pass out or get sick because it was just too many energies that I was dealing with at the same time and didn't know how to control that and I'm still trying to find a way to be able to block myself at times I guess I have to mentally do it you know tell myself like okay this is not you this is not you you know so I can find myself getting irritated or I can be around somebody and I can, all of a sudden I can feel myself being sad and it's just like you know I'm like are you okay and they're like you know oh, I'm all right I'm like no you're not but you know you don't you can't make people open up if they don't want to open up so it's just you know if you, you you have that issue or how do you cope with it or how you deal you know I hope people are not coping with it but how do you deal with it come to terms of being a hypersensitive I want you to drop me a line and tell me because it's just like you know going through that it was really hard but it's just like when I know that my videos can make an impact on somebody and help them understand that you know we're never alone you know, we're not going, you know, even though we feel like we're not, you know, we're alone at times when we go through hell, you know, you could be suffering from addiction or, you know, you, you could be in an abusive relationship. You know, there's things that we have to go through to get to it. You know, I've been in a, you know, abusive relationship with my family, you know, in adulthood and it, you know, it's made me really strong. You know, there's times I used to cry and just, you know, it was a, a hard pill, big, big pill to swallow. Like, I went through these things, you know, not knowing who my father was until after he died. That was like something really hard to deal with. But, you know, I know things had to happen the way it had to happen. You know, there's certain things, you know, I'm just like, God, you know, why would I know about this now? I would rather not know. Or at least let me know this sooner, you know, before this happened. But there's so many times that we passed you know past connections like you know and I had to not meet him at that time so it was like really hard you know to come to terms with that and it took me a long time to you know there's times I still get emotional about it but I come to terms with it like everything that happens for a reason 
So it's just like knowing my dad's there in that spiritual sense. You know, I see him in visions. I see him in daydreams. And knowing that he's never left my side. You know, he's always been supportive of me. You know, he was always telling me, stop telling me you miss me. You know, I'm always around you. So stop telling me, you know, stop telling me that. But it's just like the physical sense. You know, I miss that like crazy. So, you know, if you lost a loved one, you lost a parent, you know, you know what I'm talking about. You know, you always know that, you know, the spirit's always there, but, you know, to touch them, to hug them, it, it can be, you know, really hard. So it's just like being that way, you know, it's a blessing because when you know you can reach out and, you know, I tell people all the time, you never know what people are going through that you know just by listening you know them listening to the things that you went through to know that yeah I had a hard time there's a lot of things I had to come to terms with there's things that I had to let go of or things that I had to face that I really truly didn't want to but I got an understanding out of it I know why I had to go through this and I'm trying not to get emotional because it, it's a beautiful thing you know to be able to go through something and say you know my pain um, my heartache, you know, my my um, devastation on things have really helped people come to terms with a lot of things. Like, you know, people, when they find out the things that I went through, and they're like, it, it takes them back, you know, take them back. And they're like, oh, my God, you went through all this. And I'm like, yeah, you know, and, you know, this, this is the reason why I started doing videos. Um, going through all that and trying to come to terms with it was truly a blessing there's sometimes you know I still get you know I get emotional about it because it's like you know knowing my father's always been there and I you know always you know I couldn't really talk about it because I would get punished for it so it was like you know trying to come to terms with the reason why you know this man has always been in my life and I never could understand it and now when I finally say oh, okay he's my father so that's the reason why I used to always think about him always dream about him have talked to him all the time in my head you know I always used to say that you know my mom tell my mom that was my dream daddy um he's always been there and you know it's a blessing to be able to go through that and to know that you're blessed to be able to tell your story and no one can help somebody else because we can go through so many things so many things of being a hypersensitive being an indigo um a twin flame that it hurts when you have to go through things but then when it comes down to it after everything is said and done it's a true blessing it's a true blessing that you can go through And knowing it can bring somebody else peace. Somebody understand so much understanding to their life on the reason why they had to go through the things they had to go through. You have to be broken. You have to be broken for you to understand the purpose that you had to serve to help other people. So, um, I hope this was able to, res you know, you were able to resonate. Y'all, I said I wasn't going to get emotional. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to get emotional, but it's a beautiful thing, even though it can be hard at times to know that, you know, I never really had that physical connection with my father um, on certain terms. There was a reason behind all that. So, you know, it was just like I shared a post on my Facebook and it brought tears to my eyes about this little boy that um, he was in a store and his, it was a toddler and the little boy, there was a toddler and it was a little boy and the parent was in the store and the little boy was very, you know, cranky, you know, as toddlers do, they get bored and they get frustrated or whatever and the mom gave him a little glow stick. So, you know, she took it out the package and gave it to him just to, you know, keep him quiet. And then the little boy had took the little glow stick from the child and they were on their way out the store. And the little boy started fussing again. And the mom was like, why did you do that? And he broke it and gave it back to the, you know, to the little boy. And there was another woman behind it. And it was like, uh, mom, I just broke it for him to get the full effect of it. And that puts meaning into our lives. There are so many people that are okay with just being beings.
you know they don't, some people are okay with not serving a purpose some people are okay just doing the things that they're doing but God the universe picks special people for them to be broke but then we have to go through things pain heartache despair I felt all those things when my father was taken from me but I know my story has helped so many people and I know what that means to be broken I was okay with that you know even though it wasn't fair <laughs> but I was okay knowing that I was able to help somebody in that way my my heartache my 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 separation from my my biological family has helped so many people along that way so sometimes we have to be broken we have to be neglected we have to go through abuse for us to get that you know full turn on the reason why God broke us like that and I know that's a true blessing for me so it's just like when I know I can be able to tell a story tell my story about the things that I went through and the things I experienced in life and know that there was a reason why I had to go through that. I might not fully understand it now, but I know along the way I've helped a lot of people understand the reason why they go through things. So I said, I wasn't gonna get emotional, but I ended up getting emotional anyway, because it's a beautiful feeling to know that I've been broken, I've been hurt, I've been neglected, I've been abused, but it made me stronger. It brought me so much knowledge and I, I pray every day you know I might hate what I go through I'm blessed to be able to experience that and say you know what you you're a strong person because a lot of people wouldn't have been able to go through stuff like that a lot of people wouldn't have been able to wake up you know it's hard to wake up the next day and just like I'm still where I'm at <laughs> I'm still going through this but I know God and universe is not done with me yet and I know I'm gonna be rewarded at the end I'm not worried about doing the things I'm doing for something to be returned because I love what I do so just knowing that I'm able to pass a message on to let people know you go through hell and high water but there's always a reason behind the things that you go through so don't give up on your dreams don't give up on your life because it's very precious and knowing if there's a reason why you had to wake up the next day you know the universe is not done with you yet so i hope this was able to you know resonate with somebody and i will talk to y'all later you know I'll drop a sign you know i said I went, I went back in there after i said all my little endings and outro but you know obviously i wasn't done with what i had to say so you know i didn't want to be sappy with y'all but you know it hit home for me just to talk about that but it's okay because you need to hear that message so i love y'all i love all the new people that are coming in i'm loving the people who haven't came in yet so i'm hoping this will be able to help you out on the situations that you're going through and you know go ahead and help other people because you never know what they might be suffering through and you know drop me a line let me know what's up with you and um my uh post notification shout out goes to Amanda Lee Blackwood, much love to you, sis. I hope you had a blessed, safe weekend and blessings to everybody. Abundance, comforting vibes, healing vibes, uplifting vibes, and loving vibes, everybody, towards your way. And drop me a line. Go ahead and share this video and you know, whatever social media you see fit. And just drop me a line. Let me know you're on the notification squad so I can go ahead and give you a shout out. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace. Every while.